The essays are written by Francis Bacon in a wide range of styles, from the plain and unadorned to the epigrammatic. They cover topics drawn from both public and private life. And in each case the essays cover their topics systematically from a number of different angles, weighing one argument against another. Under the title Essays or Councils, Civil, and Moral, was published in 1625 with 58 essays of innovations. As the births of living creatures at first are ill-shapen, so are all innovations, which are the births of time. Yet notwithstanding, as those that first bring honor into their family are commonly more worthy than most that succeed, so the first precedent, if it be good, is seldom attained by imitation. For ill to man's nature as it stands perverted, hath a natural motion strongest in continuance. But good, as a forced motion, strongest at first. Surely every medicine is an innovation. And he that will not apply new remedies must expect new evils. For time is the greatest innovator. And if time of course alter all things to the worse. And wisdom and counsel shall not alter them to the better. What shall be the end? It is true. That what is settled by custom, though it be not good. Yet at least it is fit. And those things which have long gone together. Are, as it were, confederate within themselves. Whereas new things peace not so well, but. Though they help by their utility. Yet they trouble by their inconformity, besides. They are like strangers, more admired, and less favored. All this is true. If time stood still, which, contrariwise, move it so round, that a froward retention of custom is as turbulent a thing as an innovation. And they that reverence too much old times, are but a scorn to the new. It were good, therefore, that men in their innovations, would follow the example of time itself. Which indeed innovateth greatly, but quietly, and by degrees scarce to be perceived, for otherwise, Whatsoever is new is unlooked for. And ever it men's born, and bears other, and he that is holpen takes it for a fortune, and thanks the time. And he that is hurt for a wrong, and imputeth it to the author. It is good also not to try experiments in states. Except the necessity be urgent, or the utility evident. And well to beware that it be the reformation that draweth on the change. And not the desire of change that pretendeth the reformation. And lastly, that the novelty, though it be not rejected, yet be held for a suspect, and, as the scripture saith, that we make a stand upon the ancient way, and then look about us, and discover what is the straight and right way, and so to walk in it. End of the essay. Thank you.